Well, today we are back in Jasper National Park to show you guys, obviously, the Wapiti Campground. The Wapiti Campground is actually right across the road from the Whistler's Campground, and it's about half the size. So I think the Whistler's Campground has around seven to 800 campsites. Here, there's about half, maybe 350. And this is a special campsite because this is the only one that's open all year round. So if you wanna camp with an RV in the winter, you can come here, they have a section that's open. So then what happens in the spring is that they'll actually close down for a couple of weeks just to get ready. So then the Whistler's Campground opens, people can go there, and then they open the entire thing in the summer. So right now we're in the spring and it's a time period where they're closed for a couple of weeks. So let's go inside and check it out to show you guys everything you wanna know about the Wapiti Campground. registration area there's your recycling and garbage here there's actually recycling and garbage over there there's a huge wood pile up in front of me with a gorgeous view of uh, Single Mountain and Mount Takara I actually made a uh, video of me hiking all the way up there and it's also the end of the Skyline Trail here in Jasper National Park. You guys can check my channel and check that out. So this is one of the sh two showers. So this right now is closed. It's only open during the summer months. There's one more on the other side at the AA loop and that's the one that's actually open during the winter, basically all year round. These are the only two showers basically in the whole campground. But there's about nine or 10 actual washrooms and they're scattered all throughout. So you don't have to walk all the way to here every time you wanna use the restroom. So this campground has loops from A all the way down to W. So let's go check those out and we'll have a little bit of a walk around and also show you guys the back loops and show you the wonderful views you'll get here at the Wapiti Campground. little shelter and there's a bunch of picnic tables in here and the stove and you kind of have three walls with one wall in behind me there that's uh, wide open and it's kind of nice that they have this because you can tell that they had to cut down a bunch of trees because of the pine beetle so it, the most of the campground is kind of bare so it's really nice to have a shelter like this there's also power back in here with five light bulbs here, so even at night, you get a nice place to come and cook your food. If, and if it's too warm too, it's actually, even though it's warm outside right now, it's quite cool here with the concrete floor and the shade. This reminds me of a lot of other campgrounds in the area. 
unfortunately because a lot of the trees at the front were cut down. Further back on the campground, they left a lot of the trees alone. You can tell that they cut some down, but a lot of them are still standing. So there's quite a bit of shade here. This section also has power. I kind of like this at the far back here just because there's a little bit of shade from the trees but some of these sites like this one here is not very big at all like maybe 25 feet each one might vary so before booking a site here I would maybe check just to make sure that your RV fits if you're camping with an RV it's quite quiet at the far back section I don't hear the road as much a little bit of shade and we've got these wonderful views all around you of three different mountain ranges here in Jasper. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. you're wondering this is used in the summertime but it's also mainly used in the wintertime because this is the only campground in Jasper National Park that's open all year round and it's just this big loop here right in front of me is the actual washrooms and there's showers in there and then there's a sink that you can use outside and you get your registration stuff all your information related to the campsite is here so by the looks of it you can have loops that have power all in here or I think there's the other smaller loops as well that you can park there as well but it's quite nice to have the option of being able to come here and stay in your RV or camper especially in the winter time for those who want to go in the mountains and behind there and go skiing so let's show you what these washrooms and facilities look like. bit of a drop off down there but this is the wonderful Athabasca River and it's just down this tiny little trail near the A loop it's kind of neat that you can like camp right over there you can walk all the way out here and have an awesome view so I hope this video is gonna help you guys decide where you want to stay when you come camping here in Jasper National Park and this is the Athabasca River right in front from Pyramid Mountain, and I'm Eric Chambly, and these are my adventures. Peace out!